Within a square loop of side L is a circular region of magnetic field as shown below. We can have a look at the diagram. The, magnet, the magnetic field is directed into the plane of the screen and exists in a circle of radius R. And the magnitude of this magnetic field is B0. Which of these best represents the magnitude of the magnetic field, ma sorry, magnetic flux linked with the loop? We can choose one answer out of these three. Okay, so let's let's think about it. So we have this region of loop of side L and there is a loop of radius R through which there is a magnetic field. Now we know that the magnitude of magnetic flux, that's that's really phi, this is equal to B A cos B A cos theta, right? And theta over here, theta over here will, could either be zero degree or 180 degree. It doesn't matter because if you're taking magnitude, it really just becomes one plus one. B A. So we need to figure out what is a what is the area here? B is B naught. So if we have a look at the area that is only linked with magnetic field, that area is just this circle, right? And the area of this circle is pi r square. So if you have a look at the options, the right option becomes the first one. Because when we calculate magnetic flux, we only look at the area that is linked with the magnetic field. The second option gives us B naught L square. So that is considering the entire area of the square square loop, not, not the area that is linked with magnetic field. In the C option, we have pi R square minus L square. That is all the area except the area in between, except the area through which the magnetic field is linked. So again, that is wrong. Again, reiterating that what we look at when we calculate magnetic flux is the area that is linked with magnetic field. 